Good morning, students. And welcome back to our class. In our previous classes, we have seen on the sixth unit, the clinical teaching methods. And we have seen various types of clinical teaching methods in our previous classes. In our today's class, we will move to our new unit. That is unit number seven on educational media. In this unit, we are going to learn about AVAs, different types of AVAs. What are the advantages and disadvantages of those AVAs? In this unit, we are going to see the following points. We'll see regarding the introduction of the AVRs. We will understand the meaning, the definition, and the concept of the AVRs. We'll see what are the purpose of the AVRs, why we need to use the AVRs, what are the drawbacks, and about the classification of the AVRs. We will see what are our objectives also. And even with this, we have AVRs. We will see even many different different types of AVAs, how they are classified there. We have audio, which display boards are there, graphic panel boards, different different. So we'll see all various types of AVA. And even we will see the source of the AVAs also. Regarding the AVAs introduction, as the word AVAs, Audio-visual aids. These are also called instructional material. Audio literally means to hear, that is the hearing, and visual means that which is formed by seeing. So all such aids which endure to make the knowledge clear to us through our sense are called as audiovisual aids or instructional material. The simple ways to say, to which we can hear and we can see and through them we gain our knowledge. That type of material we called as AVAs or instructional material. All these material make the learning situation as real as possible and give us the first hand knowledge through the organs of hearing and seeing. Means whichever material we are using for our teaching, through those all things, we will come to know about the actual real situation of the things and therefore we'll get much more enhancement of knowledge. Therefore, any device, any, therefore, so there's any device which can be used to make our learning experience much more concrete. And um, these type of EVAs will make more realistic and they are dynamic. That's why we consider them as EVR materials. We are learned through our sense organs. We touch, we feel, we hear, we even see the things. So through our sense organs, we learn much more things. All the sense organs helps us in the understanding our environment. Most of the knowledge which we acquire from the school comes through our ears and eyes only. The much more we hear, much more we listen, we gain much more knowledge and much more we see, we can understand the actual real things. The objectives of our today's class that is to identify and describe the AVAs and application of the AVAs. So the objectives of our today's class will be, the student will identify and describe the various types of AVAs and how to apply these AVAs in our teaching. 
we are having certain student uh, effective learning objectives also and we'll see in the end of our class so now you understood about the aviates aviates are a audio visual materials or audio instructional materials through which we can hear and through which we can see through which we can hear or through which we can see and through that we can gain our knowledge and enhance our knowledge much more this audiovisual media or audiovisual materials are part of a communication or you can say it as communication technology or educational instructional media or even learning resources all are these different different terms you audiovisual aids means also same audiovisual materials also means same same it is audiovisual media or communication technology or even educational technology you can say or instructional media and even learning resources these are all the various different terms which are used for the aviates earlier the term aviates was used in our education now it has been replaced with many newer terms with the advancement uh, in the means of the communication and technology educators are coining a new new words or they are renaming the aviates now let us see what do you mean by aviates as already discussed with you people aviates are those through which or are those any objects you may say through which a person can see and hear and learn the things through which the person can learn the things it means the sensory objects or maybe some images which initiate or they can stimulate and reinforce the learning so it helps the process of learning that is through motivation classification and stimulation it makes learning dynamic that there is a dynamic dynamic learning experience more concrete and realistic and clarity will be much more through this aviates we can establish correlate coordinate accurate concept interpretations can also be drawn we can do appreciation which enables uh, him to make uh, the student that is uh, the student to make much more learning effective as well as interesting and inspirational in the full next there are few definitions of aviates here so what are how we can define the aviates audio visual aids are any device which can be used to make teaching experience more concrete more realistic and more dynamic this definition is given by kinder s james next audio visual aids are those sensory objects or images which initiate or stimulate and they reinforce the learning audio visual aids are anything by the means of which learning process may be encouraged or carried through the sense of hearing or sense of sight this definition is from the goods dictionary of the educate next let me see the concept of the aids audio visual aids are sensitive tools which are used in teaching as a venue of for learning that is as a venue for the learning we are using the tool and these aviates are a very sensitive tools these are a planned education material aviates are a pre planned so before going to a class teaching we have to identify what type of aviates we are going to use in our class so that it quicker learning can help be initiated and the student or the child can learn much more with this type of aviates so these are the planned education materials that attain to the senses of the people and quick and learning also it is facilitating a better understanding that is a clear understanding in a chinese there is a proverb if i hear i forget if i see i remember if i do i know 
says the importance of perception in teaching and learning situation. Whenever we learn anything through seeing, we can understand or we can keep in our mind for 87% of the things which we see will be more effective in our mind. Hearing will be 7%. If we hear, we will forget it earlier. So hearing is 7%. Then odor by 3%, touch by 2% and taste by 1%. That's why audiovisual aids enhance the clarity of the communication. They provide the diversity in the method. Then it increases the forcefulness of the subject being learned or taught and serves in the instructional role in order to supplement, enrich the teacher's own learning. Now, what are the purposes of the AVAs? For what purpose we are using the AVAs? The AVAs provide a basics for more effective, perpetual and conceptual learning. To initiate and sustain attention, concentration and personal involvement of the students in the learning. Then AVAs also provide concreteness, realism and lifelikeness in teaching learning situations. Then they help to bring the remote events of either space or time to the classroom. Next, it also helps to increase the meaningfulness of abstract concepts. It helps to gain the practical skill. It helps to introduce opportunity for a situational or field types of learning also. It helps for our better motivation. We'll get a clear images. Then various, various experience will be there and we'll have a variety of the stimulation. Then a person can also retain much more than have a greater opportunities to handle and manipulate the aviators. They capture the attention, they help them in, meet, in meeting the individual differences also. They help in reinforcement and also positive transfer of the learning. So now why aviates are needed or what are the importance of the aviates? Aviates are important because they improve and make the teaching more effective. And they even enable the audience to look, listen and learn. And the aviates will be displayed so the audience can look over them, they can listen to them and they can learn from them through which they can improve and make much more teaching effective also. AVAs helps in making the learning interesting and profit. Even through the learning to AVAs, it will be much more interesting and also it is profitable for the students. It quickens the pace of learning. When we are learning through the AVAs, so our learning will be much faster. It economics teachers' effort. The teachers' effort will be also economized and it will foster and develop the knowledge of the student. It will add variety and newness to the lesson. That is, we can you add new, new things for the lesson and will provide a vericus experiences for learn. It will also help to overcome our possible hurdles during which the act of teaching is being done with help of the aviators. Many a times we face the problems of uh, failing to show certain things. If we are having aviators, so we can display the aviators through which we can overcome those hurdles which we cannot present without the aviators. Then it will also bring expected behavioral changes among the learners. When the students are learning through the AVAs, so there is change in the behavior of the students whenever they learn through the AVAs. They even help to stimulate the curiosity. So for example, whenever a new AVA or any new model we take to our students, students, then if it is a very new aspect for them, the students will be having much more interest to see how it is, how it works, what is the use of it. So they will 
be stimulated and they will be having curiosity to understand about the area. They provide a concrete experience or a direct contact with reality or serves as a source of information and lifelikeness in teaching learning situations. Next, the student acquires clear, accurate, and a vivid image during the whole process of the learning. And it also increase and sustain retention and concentration. They make personal involvement of the student in active learning and meeting the individual needs of the learners also increase the meaningfulness of abstract concepts by stimulating correct thinking. It can serve as an open window through which the student can view the world and its phenomena by bringing remote events into the classroom. They provide an opportunity for a situational type of learning that is like uh, field trips. Then there is a provision of active participation of the students and various experiences, encouraging the healthy interaction for the effective realization of the teaching so that the learning objective is being achieved. Then it also helps to facilitate and advance the process of applying what is learned to realistic performance and to the life situation. They direct dramatize the experience, they add interest and vitality to any training situation and also positive transfer of learning and training and positive environment for creative discipline. They stimulate thinking and motive action. They save our time and energy. They help us to change our attitude or point of a view of learners. They develop continuity of thought. They promote scientific temper as students observe demonstrations and scientific phenomena. They visualize and make teaching more real, acts as an antidote to the like a disease of verbal instruction. It means to say that for our verbal instruction, it is much more enhancing with the help of the AVS. Next, what are the drawbacks of audiovisual aids? Now, what are the drawbacks of using the EV aids? These are not essential for all the instructional programs. For all the instruction programs, they may not be helpful. And these are helpful in teaching, but they will not substitute teachers and books. Though audiovisual aids are an instructional media or a means for the teaching, but they fail to replace the books as well as the teachers. And there may be possible risk of spectatorism, instead of attitude of thoughtful inquiry, then it requires more time for planning and preparing also. Then it tempts the teachers to narrow down the subject because of the teachers. Uh, subject will be narrowed down. That is, when we take the class, we'll be explaining much more things. But when we start showing the things, that time our subject matter will be reduced. Then audiovisual aids are not ends, but they are the means. It, the audiovisual aids are not the only way to teach, but they are the means with the help of that we can assist or enhance much more learning. And as I said, it is a possible risk of spectatorism. People start seeing that only, then they may not pay the attention also. And some ADA needs current power supply. So even there are certain aviates. Those aviates will work only with the help of the power supply. So before going, we'll have a question and we'll proceed.
Next, we will see what are the problems in using this teaching aids. Similar to the drawbacks, you will be face certain problems also. That is apathy of the teachers means teaching with words alone is very tedious, wasteful and ineffective. Ineffectiveness of the aviates is the, another problem that is preparation, presentation, application, discussion are necessary whenever a teacher is giving the using the aids for the teaching. But there may be absence of the proper planning, lethargy of the teacher, then without proper preparation, it will be difficult for us to further proceed and without correct presentation and appropriate application and discussion. And it won't be possible and no proper follow-up work can be done through this teaching aids. Now let us see how the aviates have been classified. The aviates have been classified into projected aviates and non-projected aviates. The instructional media, which encompasses, encompasses all the material and the physical means of an instructor, might use to implement instruction and facilitate the student's achievement of instructional object. So, audio, original aviates are of two categories: the projected aviates and the non-projected aviates. The projected aviates are those which comes under which we can project or which we can mount them. For example, films, film strip, the opaque projector or overhead projector or any slide projectors are the projected aviate. Then comes the non-projected aviates. In the non-projected aviates comes the graphic aids, display aids, three-dimensional aids, audio aids, activity aids. So these are the non-projected type of aviates. In this slide, you can see the various types of the aviates, which again we are further classifying, like audio aids, we classify them audio means only hearing. So radio, tape record, public address system, and telephone. So these are the only audio aids. Next comes the visual aids. Visual means we can see them. So in visual aids, we are again bifurcating them into the projected and non-projected. In the projected, like slides based, their film strips are there, opaque projection is there, overhead projectors are there. And in non-projected, like chalkboard, bulletin board, picture, photograph, panel graph, flash, card, flip chart, poster, map, specimen, model, diorama. So those are, these are the various types of the non-projected aids. Next comes our audio-visual aids. Now, what are these audio-visual aids? Audio-visuals also have been classified into two types. That is the projected and the non-projected. In the projected, we can show the motion pictures. There are video and satellite TV, teleconferencing, multimedia conferencing, computer. So this comes under audio-visual aid. Means we can see as well as we can hear it. And in the non-projected, like drama, puppet show, folk songs, talking dolls. Yeah, you can say it as uh, the puppetry. Okay. So these are the various type of non-projected audio visual aids. Now we'll move towards the sources. From there we can get this AVS. So the sources of the audio visual aids are from the government sector or from the educational institutions or any professional organizations or any non-governmental or voluntary organization or even commercial producers of the educational materials are the sources of the Next, we'll have a question and we'll proceed. Next comes our characteristics of a good audio visual. So how a good audio visual aid should be? A good audio visual is must satisfy this satisfy these below points. That is, it should be adapted to the intellectual maturity of the peoples and to the nature and the extent of the previous experience. So AVAs are should be such a way that they should be adapted for the intellectual maturity of the 
people and the nature and the experiences or to what extent the learner can understand with that of periods they should be meaningful and they should be purposeful they should be improvised that is we can get easily available that is with the locally available materials it should be used in the preparation then they should be accurate in every aspect also they should be simple then cost effective as well as cheap they should be then they should be larger enough to be properly seen by the whole students in the class they should be update to the update mark then they are must be easily portable that is from one place to another place we can carry out, carry them then they should help to motivate the learners also so these are the certain good characteristics of the aid or your visual aids or the teaching aids once again there are the various types of aid aids again here i am displaying it like in graphic aids what are there in display aids what are there okay we have seen the different classifications but in these again further we can see what are are there so graphic aids as i said you the graphic aids are also a type of a aids where we can graphic aids like cartoons charts comics diagrams flash cards graphs maps photographs pictures and posters next in display boards like blackboard bulletin board panel boards are there magnetic board is there peg board is there and in the three dimensional aids like diagrams models objects puppets and specimens in audio aids like radio recordings and television and in activity aids they may be the computer assisted instruction that we, which we have learned in our previous classes demonstrations then dramas or dramatics we can say experimentations field trip program instruction teaching and uh, uh, even the teaching machines are also a type of activity aids and all these aids have been already discussed in the teaching methods also then there are certain types of instructional media like real objects models are there there are certain printed textbooks or handouts or the worksheets then there might be some printed visuals like pictures photos drawings charts graphs there are some display boards like chalk bulletin board multi purpose board then interactive white boards are also available there are overhead transparencies slides and film strips then there are audio that is tape disc voice type then video and film also are a type of a types of instructional media then television may be the live or even computer software and the web these are the various sub types of the avs we can say other types of avs within the avs now what is the use of our instructional media what are the use of this avs a good aid is like a window and it should call, not call attention to itself it is just let in in the light any aids e are those they are giving us a knowledge through their working thing okay but it should not call attention by itself then it among the implicit goals that media can help achieve are the following that is attracting attention even developing the interest adjusting the learning climate and promoting the acceptance of ideals then there are certain principles whenever we are using avs we should be followed that is the principles of selection principles of preparation principle of physical control and principle of proper presentation principle of a response and principle of them so these are certain principles next answer the question and we'll move further next comes the steps in implementation of this instructional media how we are going to implement this avs or instructional media into our teaching review instructional goals objectives audience and instructional strategy also we have to see 
that is the reviewing of the instructional goals should be there so top objectives audience and even the instructional strategy then we have to determine the best medium for your lesson components which type of medium will be much more suitable for teaching then we have to search for and review existing media material identify if already any aviates are existing or what then adapt existing media materials if necessary then if new media materials need to be developed then determine the format scripts visuals etc draft the materials and media check for the clarity and flow of the idea then conduct a format evaluation then implement it apply it and evaluate and revise it so these are the various steps of implementing the instructional material then there are some factors in this media selection like uh, practical ability should be there practical ability is the intent media practical in that the media is available it is cost efficient time efficient and understood by the instructor students appropriateness should be there that is the intended media appropriate for the developmental and experimental levels of the students then instructional appropriateness is the intended media appropriate for the planned instructional strategy will the media allow for the presentation of the proposed lesson in an efficient and an effective manner or not so these are certain factors in media selection that is the practicability and student appropriateness and instructional appropriate next we'll have one more question and we'll move on towards our end of the class you will have a exercise you have to list the various or different types of the aviates this is a exercise for you people and you should answer this the learning outcomes the student will identify and describe the various types of the aviates the student will understand the application of the aviates in the teaching and is for our student effective learning outcome that is application of the concepts and topic and its technological application ability to interpret and analyze data into information and to design and conduct experiments understanding the available tools and products and the ability to use it effectively and the adaptive think skills also that was about the class and once again well in a short we'll revise our today's class and we'll end up the session so i said about the introduction of the aviates aviates are also called by different names like audio visual materials instruction material audio visual media communication technology educational or instructional media learning resources these are the various different different terms as the word audio visual aids means we can hear and we can see through which we can learn much more okay and these type of aids helps us in motivation and they stimulate our learning process also then we saw the definition of the aids aids for the devices that makes the teaching more experience more concrete and more realistic and more dynamic also then we saw the concept of the aids that is by seeing we learn 87% hearing 7% by touch 2 by odor 3 and by taste 1% so audio visual aids enhance the clarity in our communication and they provide a diversity in the method also then we saw the purposes also there were many purposes for what purpose we are using this aids okay and we saw about the need and importance of aids why we should use the aids in our teaching and how the aviates should be there that is the drawbacks also we have seen then the problems whenever we are using this type of aviates then we saw about the classification like uh, mainly they have classified into two types like projected and non projected and even the audio visual aids complete classification we saw what are audio aids what are visual aids in the visual again there were two types projected and non projected and in audio visual that is both seeing and listen and hearing are projected and non projected then even we saw 
what are the sources from where we can get this type of aviators also then we saw the characteristics of the aviators then we saw various types like uh, what are graphic aids what are display aids three dimensional board audio aids activity aids then what are the various types of instructional media also then how to use this instructional media also we saw then we saw about the principles of use of this audio visual aids then how what are the various steps involved in implementation of the av aids okay. and then what are the factors of the media selection that is the practicality student appropriateness and instructional appropriateness and we came for our exercise so that's all was about today's class and tomorrow we'll move with the next topic of on the av aid until then thanks for your attentive listening thank you <laughs>